Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 10, Thoughts. This episode is called The Bridge, another episode I love. Spoilers for the MCU leading up, leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers for anything later in the MCU. Before I dive in, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the site after Strikers. And then there are some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's get into it. So... Poe in in prison actually, you know, this this massive guy walks up. The character is called Tiny. Paul Sanchez, you know, walks up and you know is about to sit, and and Poe is just like that seat's taken. Which, wow. Although, I guess there's a chance that it was to protect him from the ensuing chaos, but. Yeah, that's quite enjoyed the, 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 right, and, and, yeah, very, very cool rescue operation, the, yeah, you know, that prison breaking ain't easy, you know, they made it, it took them very long in the, in the show, prison break, but if you've got super strength, yeah, yeah, quite enjoyed the, the sparring between Melinda May and Ward. Fitz points out Simmons should probably not be so excited about the the progress that their enemies have made. Very cool to see Mike again. He's trying to break Steve Rogers' record. And, yeah, Phil gives him a second chance. There will not be a third. Though, I suppose, I mean, at the end of the episode, it's... Although, yeah, I guess he's probably... He probably died from the explosion. Although, haven't we seen extremist soldiers survive more? They probably shouldn't have made extremists quite so... No, I guess, no, th that kind of explosion would kill them, though I feel like, um, did, because, because certainly, uh, Guy Pierce's character survived a massive explosion, anyway, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, would he still get another chance if he did somehow survive that? from Coulson, because Coulson did seem to understand where he was coming from. He's behind me, isn't he? I'm, I'm usually a fan of, of gags like that, and this is no exception. And, yeah, they, they have to find out Mike's limits, and Fitz points out, you know, you didn't, we have machines for that, you didn't have to do the measurements manually, and, it's, yeah, Simmons not great at hiding the, you know, which, you know, I, I, I've seen that cliche pop up. I don't know if it's true, but like, I feel like a lot of, you know, we've, we've been told, oh, women just aren't as interested in, in sex, aren't as physically attracted. I feel like a lot of that is like white guys who are, terrified of the idea that their wife or at least partner would be interested in someone else so they're like no 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 that's it's okay she's she's just not interested in so, so this is kind of going in the other direction and yeah it was quite amusing her you know trying desperately when did you stop talking and yeah, um, they were the ones who stabilized him. So, Karen here saved a black guy by getting him shot. That's really messed up. Uh, I, I guess maybe this element is why they went ahead and, you know, made the Luke Cage show just to try to balance things out. And Ward and, and Coulson are like, why do we need college courses about female psychology? 
that felt really like I mean I get the Colson is kind of old school isn't Ward a little young to be that old-fashioned just yeah um, and yeah Colson is of course no longer with the Portlandian cellist and Sky points out that apparently Shield has a lip reading program which told her that Yoda is way more obsessed about his stick than we had previously anticipated. Is Poe just always eating? Is that his thing? Because I feel like, like he has two scenes in this episode where he could be eating and he's eating in both of them. Like, maybe this is what inspired that one character from The Defenders, who I suppose, I don't want to give away exactly, but if you know, you know. And, yeah, Poe says, it's time to stop running. And, yeah, the, the, you know, Sky is told, that there are no, you know, there, there are no psychics. They're a myth. So was Thor. And <laughs> I gotta say, when Ward, like, you know, yeah, at first Laura is just, was she faking that in order to get him to lower his guard maybe? But yeah, she seemed very interested in, in Ward. You know, which, you know, fair enough. He's, he's you know, he's got uh, Julia Le Petit handsome man face. That's completely completely understandable when he reaches into his suit you know I I for a second there I was like is he actually gonna tell her that he's she like cause that doesn't seem like it's really gonna benefit the situation but no you know the lottery card which the the that was the, you know earlier in the episode Colson was thumbing through all these old cards and he found the lottery one and yeah this is where he was intending to use that and yeah um of course she calls and and tries to warn because that is ridiculously sus like to the, you know the, Brian you got a bail you got an amogus and yeah um and they're able to, to track it because of the card, which, yeah, really not a fan of, of the, you know, a warrantless wiretap being, you know, used for good. And really, really epic fight in the, you know, between the, the super soldiers. And, you know, at first it's like, Nice, they're gonna have, you know, Mike fight against one of the evil super soldiers, and then two more of these tanks open up. And, and it was also, like, that was a great reveal that, like, looks abandoned, dial the phone number, you know, maybe, and it's like, ah, if we hear a ring, and there's a ring, we, you know, got him, but nope, that was actually, you know, that was basically just... Did they not know? I guess the super. Yeah, because from inside a uh, um, one of those, you might not be able to hear. Maybe it was just for effect, though, and and I can appreciate that. But yeah, um, really, really cool that Melinda May was actually able to to hold her own for so long, and I appreciate you know they were very careful to choreograph it where, like, when she gets hit. It actually has the the effect of a super soldier punch or kick. You know, it's just that she's really, really great at dodging and and fighting back and such, which we saw during the the sparring. And yeah, the you know Poe says Mike is the key to what was it phase three or something like that, stage three. That's it. And they have the eye thing, which we saw in the earlier episode. So, yeah. And I really appreciate all the, the subtle acting. 
by Ruth Naga uh, in the in the car as Reina, you know, when like she she really wants to know more about the clairvoyant, the clairvoyant who, you know, we, we know very little about him. All we know so far is he does not like being touched. And, you know, Poe is like, I, I really don't want to have to carve your eyes out too. Which is sweet. Don't ever do that to me again. Brandy, then? And Melinda May is very hard on Sky, which is of course upsetting to her and yeah you know he wants to be the very best like no one ever was and Ace has a new friend that's very concerning <laughs> and it's Reyna and let's see yeah and they they meet on the the bridge and she really twists the blade and the the you know the the amount of of blade twists here well they don't exceed the the blade tv show but comes close and you know it's, you you come to realize the centipede were very careful in choosing that location because Ward's sniping would be blocked, and the um, what's it called? You know the yeah the the explosion in case anyone tried to to follow and blow up the car as well to hide any or destroy any potential physical evidence, and we get some betrayals and Coulson does go with them and it ends on the helic helicopter flying away and shooting at Ward which also tells tells us they knew all along that he would be there you know they scoped out the place and we're like okay that's a really obvious sniper position let's make sure we we stand in a place that he can't see us, that, that he can't wouldn't be able to shoot us and yeah, the episode ends on a cliffhanger, very cool, and Tahiti is why they want Colson. So yeah, um, very, very excited to find out what happens next. I don't think I have too much else. The, the, um, yeah, the end of the episode was a trap, but that was because they wanted, they, they knew, well, yeah, ultimately, yeah, the, oh, hold on, actually, yeah, come to think of it, I don't think Poe said, Mike is the key to stage three, he said, he is the key, or, or, you just found the key to stage three. We thought he was talking about Mike because he still has power. And, and Reyna just said he went off the train, but he still has powers. But Poe wasn't talking about that. was a very clever misdirect. Because it's not like... Yeah, because right after it cuts, Reyna was probably like, oh, yeah, Mike, yeah. Sure. And, and he was no, no, Coulson. But they didn't, you know, it wasn't necessary for us to see that exchange. But yeah, um, they, yeah, they, they set the trap to get Coulson knowing that if they let their intentions slip, it wouldn't go their way. But the, you know, they, they, they did somewhat set a trap with, with Brian and the others, but the fact that, I mean, they weren't actually trying to be spotted there. They just wanted to put up a little bit of a fight there. Maybe be able to, to take out the, the people who came after them. But they didn't really get anything out of that. So, 
yeah, I, I quite like when a story has, you know, for sure, there is a certain appeal to stories where the bad guy just wins over and over. You know, i still not a fan of that element in that one Mission Impossible movie, but there it just felt like a, a shortcut, a way to not have to properly work out how it would, anyway. But I, I quite appreciate that in, in this episode, yeah, early on, the 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 agents that we follow, our team, you know, are are able to get at least a little bit ahead. They were able to find where Brian was, and you know, the the yeah, it it wasn't it didn't go exactly how Centipede had hoped. They didn't know know that Mike was going to be there. And then at the end of the episode, we have the trap. Yeah, I I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm really, really glad that I'm going to be watching the next episode tomorrow instead of having to wait an entire week. And, yeah, the that is it for this one. So catch you again tomorrow. I should have stopped speaking three embarrassing sentences ago.